Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how alcohol is produced during fermentation. Okay, alcohol, you'll all know, is used in alcoholic drinks, but you may not know that it can be used as a solvent in cosmetics, in medicinal drugs, and as a fuel. The question is, how do we make it? And the answer to that is fermentation. So let's have a look at how. To produce alcohol through fermentation, we need some sugar, in particular sugar from fruits. So if we use the example of glucose, which has the chemical formula of C6H12O6, what we need to do is add some yeast to our sugar solution. Yeast is an enzyme which is a biological catalyst, meaning it speeds up our chemical reactions whilst remaining chemically unchanged. And what it does is helps to break down the glucose into ethanol, which is our alcohol. Ethanol has the chemical formula of C2H5OH. We also produce carbon dioxide, which is CO2, as a byproduct. So our equation, when balanced, looks like this. Now the final thing that you need to remember from this video is that the process needs anaerobic respiration, which means it needs to occur in the presence of no oxygen. And that's everything that you do need to know. So let's have a look at a few questions, three to be exact. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a go at the questions, and then we'll mark it when you're done. Okay, let's go through. So question one, the use for alcohol, any of the four, which is alcoholic drinks, used as a fuel, medicinal drugs, or a solvent in cosmetics. Any one of those gets you your mark. Question two, how do we convert glucose to ethanol? Fermentation, that's your first mark. Name the process. Then, how do you do it? Add yeast to your glucose solution, that's your second mark. You should then state that yeast is an enzyme, so it turns the glucose into ethanol, but the key thing there, stating the word enzyme. And then finally, the final thing you could say is that this needs to be anaerobic conditions or without oxygen. Any three of those four points will get you your three marks. And then finally, question three, the balanced equation. This is worth two marks as it's given you the formula in the question. So marking point one is to take the formula and put it into your overall equation. So starting off with C6H12O6, which is our glucose, then an arrow, then C2H5OH, that's our ethanol, plus CO2, our carbon dioxide. Remember, you don't need to put yeast into this as it's chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction, so it doesn't take part in it. Then you need to balance it. So I started with my ethanol. So what I did was I started by doubling it. Hopefully you can now see that I'm missing one carbon and two oxygens, so all I need to do is double my CO2, which then balances for our second mark. And that's it for this video. I have got a review question for you, so have a go and let me know your answer in the comments. Hi guys, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click on like and please subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, please share with your friends, share with your teachers, any way that's going to help me. I've also got a website with loads of videos that can help you and there's also my latest video appearing on the screen now. Thanks for watching.